Welcome, this is Steve Good at the Scroll Saw Workshop. Uh, please stop by my blog at www.scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com where you can find more videos, free downloadable patterns, and articles. Um, stop by and take a look around, we'll be glad to see you. In today's video, I want to do a very basic uh, scroll saw pattern that uh, can make good quick sellers at the craft shows you attend. Um, these patterns are basically inspirational sayings, funny sayings, whatever, uh, that you would like to print out on a piece of wood. Um, I tend to make these uh, very simply and quickly because these are all about the words, not about the pattern. Um, I'm going to start out with the rectangle tool get a rectangle on the screen. We're going to come up here to the dimensionings uh, and go ahead and let's make this an 8 inch by 10 inch pattern. Now the reason I've made it 8 by 10 is this way you can go out and get a standard picture frame to uh, um, install this pattern into. We're going to cut this out of 1 8 inch uh, Baltic birch ply and uh, back it with a colored backing of some type and then install it in a frame. These are very easy to cut, very easy patterns to make, and once they're framed up, they're quite nice. And again, this is more about the words of the, of the uh, inspirational saying than it is about the pattern. So what you'll want to do is go on the internet uh, and find some inspirational sayings, or perhaps you have your favorites. Um, if the uh, uh, craft show you're at is for some kind of good cause, a saying that would relate to that cause would be perfect. Once we have our rectangle on the screen and dimension to 8 by 10 inches, I'm going to press the P key to center that uh, rectangle in our work area. Now, for most printers, this uh, 8 by 10 uh, square is not going to print out because it's going to be outside of the printable area, but it really doesn't make much difference because uh, we're, we're just going to center the pattern after we print it up on the uh, 8 by 10 piece of plywood anyway. So go ahead and dimension your plywood to 8 inches by 10 inches, you know, at your table saw, and uh, then you'll be ready to cut. Once you have the rectangle on the screen, you're going to select your text tool. Don't worry about the size, just go ahead and get it on the screen so you're ready to type. In this case, I have selected a stencil font that I already have on my computer. If you don't have a font, uh, a stencil font available. Uh, there's several free ones on the web. Just go to Google and type in free fonts and look for a stencil font and uh, you should be fine. Okay, once you get your text tool on the screen, you want to go ahead and um, paste your text that you wish to cut uh, into the screen. Now in this case I've already copied a uh, inspirational saying into the clipboard. I'm going to press the Control V key to paste that onto the screen. The next step we want to do is get this to fit within our 8 by 10 rectangle. So I'm going to go ahead and click the text. I still have the text selected and I'm going to cl click my uh, cursor in between some of the words and hit the return key and this will move the sentences down and uh, what we're looking for is to get everything centered up on the screen. So I'm going to continue to click and move uh, the text uh, down into a paragraph form. Once we have that done, I'm going to click and drag and select that text. I'm going to move up to the horizontal alignment tool, click, and I'm going to select center. And that will center the text out um, so we have it in a nice, neat, organized format. At this point, I'm going to press, I'm going to take my pick tool and select the text and press the P key to center it on the screen. I'm going to grab the handles at the end of the text and I'm going to stretch this text out to approximately uh, the width of the rectangle we've cut with just a little border. I'm going to grab the top handle and I'm going to move it up. I'm going to grab the bottom handle and move it down. Again, I'm going to press the P key to make sure I've got everything centered. Now I've got my inspirational saying on the board. The next step I want to do is with my pick tool selected, go ahead and lasso the rectangle and the words. Go up to the back minus front uh, icon 
click that. That will remove the text from the background. Now if we go ahead and select it and click on our color screen over here, you can see we have a cutout of that pattern. Uh, very simple, very quick. You can make these things unlimited because it's all about the words, not about the pattern. Um, if I zoom in on this, you'll see what I mean by the stencils. You know, we need a stencil font so we'll be able to cut it out, you know, without losing uh, the uh, uh, pieces of the wood. That's all there is to it. Cut this out on your table saw, take it to the scroll saw, cut the words out, put it in 8 by 10 frame, back it with either some red or blue felt, uh, something that'll black, something that'll show through the letters, and you've got a nice inspirational same plaque that you can sell at your craft shows. Okay, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I know I went kind of fast, but it's such a simple pattern, I didn't want to spend a lot of time with it. Um, enjoy this one, and come back for the next video. Talk to you later.